once upon a time, or in a land very far, far away, or it was then, as Jack looked out the window, he knew this was the day he would die, or other beginnings. What is a beginning? An egg before a chicken hatches, or the beginning of time! There are too many beginnings. It's tiring. Beginnings can be hopeful, a calm reaction to previous storms, or they can be too enthusiastic and then burn out halfway through. I have folders full of beginnings that never even made it halfway. And what was the beginning to begin with? A caveman! God! The Big Bang! What came before the Big Bang? Too much like physics. Moving on. In order for there to be a beginning, there must either be a point in a story already being told that we as audience join the narrative, or else we must assume this is a two-dimensional story where the point of the audience joining the narrative is the start of those characters and the world's lives. Complex. The beginning of a story is the least interesting part. Tell that to every biographer ever, except Daisy May, who cut out most of her childhood and said, we all hate us, but it's boring. Some people say it's the ending that matters. Also untrue. Although decent endings are pretty tricky to land. Hi, Stephen King. Don't come for me. Did you read it? The art comes in the middle. It's very difficult to keep it going. Stories are hard to tell well. Look at where we began. And now, where are we? The ending. <laughs>